hello viewers thanks for watching our videos if you're not yet subscribe please subscribe and click the bell icon so in this session we're going to discuss how to do factorization for the given questions so what is our first question is l x square mx so l x square mx so now we're going to write l x square and mx they are given their x is common so what is common here x is common in both lx into x plus mx you can write like that then here x is common here x is common let's take x common right so let's take x as outside so x into lx plus m so we are factorized lx that is x into lx plus m next second question so here 7 is there 7 y square plus 35 z square so 7 y square plus 35 z square so what we have to do is just write 7 y square as it is plus can you write 35 as with a multiple of 7 yes we can write that is 7 phi z z square now 7 is common here in both let's take outside 7 into y square plus 5 z square that is the factorization factorization is nothing but we have to write that into a into b format that is multiple of any two expressions next our third one is 3x power 4 6x cube y plus 9x square z can you take anything common here so in all the things x is common x power 4 x power 3 and x square so x square is the least value for that we have to divide remaining x values into x square format only why because remaining x values are greater that is multiple more multiples are there then 3 3 into x square into x square plus can you write 6 as multiple of 3 that is 3 into 2 into x square into x y plus 9 you can write it in the format of 3 into 3 that is 3 3 is a 9 into x square z now you can take common for this is what you can take common is you can take 3 x square 3 x square 3 x square so 3 x square is common in all the values so 3 x square take out 3x square x square plus x square plus what is the remaining thing 2xy plus 2xy plus 3x square we are given so 3x square what is the remaining 3z so remaining thing is 3z so what is the final answer after factorizing is 3x square into x square plus 2xy plus 3z next one x square minus ax minus bx plus ab they are given so here x square in all the values is there anything no nothing so for that we have to take xx and aa values so let's take x square minus bx right at one place x square minus bx right at one place why because in bx is there in x square x is there then minus ax plus ab why here ax and ab we took as one group so here x square bx and minus ax plus ab as another group why we took another group so in that a it is presented so for that let's take x square and bx let's take x is common remaining one x will be there minus b again what you can take common here is minus you can take common minus from both why because we have to get b before minus for the next one next minus a you take common y y a in both a a is presented so already minus a came x will be there here plus is there we have to multiply with the minus with the minus then you'll get plus remaining b is there then x minus b x minus b in both the terms it is common so x minus b into x minus a so that is the value we are 
got so x minus b into x minus a what is the formula you can say as x square plus a minus b sorry minus of a plus b into x plus a b then our next question is so here 3 a x minus 6 a y minus 8 b y plus 4 b x so actually we'll concentrate about x and y values so if it is a x is given for the both terms we'll concentrate upon x if both terms are grouped with y then we'll concentrate on y but in this question we have to concentrate on a a and b b you can do this problem in two methods we can concentrate on x or you can concentrate on a for taking common concentration is nothing but i am saying uh, we have to take common of in both that so 3 a x what you can do is 3 a x minus 6 a y minus 6 a y plus 4 b x minus 8 b y so what you can do is you can take 3 a in common both 3 a into x minus already y minus i am taking here because here minus it is there already we took 3 a out what is the remaining thing in 6 if you take out the 3 from 6 3 2 is a 6 so 2 will be there 2 1 plus take 4 b in both 4 b if you take common means x will be there already we took plus plus into minus minus will come here already 4 b uh, 8 b by 4 b means you will get 2 a 4 2 is a 8 right for that 2 1 so in both what is the common x minus 2 y x minus 2 y so let's take common of x minus 2 y plus sorry into 3 a is there plus 4 b so we can solve like this this is one method to solve that or you can take second method you can group it into x terms at the same time and y terms in the other side so you can group 3 a x 3 a x plus 4 b x plus 4 b x 3 a x plus 4 b x minus 6 a y minus 6 a y minus 8 b y so you can take that two as one group like that also we can solve so here you can take 3 a x plus 4 b is there no for that what we have to take common here is you can take x as a common 3 a plus 4 b will get again so x i took common 3 a plus 4 b is there again minus minus you take from both you can take two why because here a y b y is there y is a common and 6 and 8 you can take from both 2 you can take what is that 2 y so if you take 2 out y what will be there 3 a will be there so 3 a 2 3 a into 2 y will be 6 a y we are getting 6 a y in front of that minus it is there then already we took minus outside then 2 if you take out from 8 means 4 2 is 8 so 4 b so from both 3a plus 4b 3a plus 4b is a common so you can take x minus 2y into 3a plus 4b like this also we can solve anyway we have to factorize the given expression into a into b format next m n so our next one is m n plus m plus m plus 1 so from both m n plus m plus n plus 1 so what you can take common here so from both you can take m as common n plus 1 will get n plus 1 is there we can take common 1 m plus n plus 1 will come then what is this n plus 1 is common into m plus 1 so n plus 1 into m plus 1 will get next 6 a b minus b square plus 12 ac minus 2 bc so from this what you can how we can solve this is 6 ab and b square 12 ac and bc is there 
just what we have to do is just 6ab and minus b square take common of here b you can take common b outside means 6a minus b will come 6a minus b will come then from ac and bc take common of c minus 2c if you take minus 2c here 2c and 12 is there for 2 we can 12 can be divided with 2 so 12 ac minus 2 bc 2c i am taking why because 2 is common in both and c also common is both so 2 bc means so let's take minus 2 bc means what you can take is sorry plus 2c you take plus 2c means so here 6a is there remaining one is 6a plus into minus minus b will come so 6a minus b is a common now 6a minus b is common 6a minus b into b plus 2c we can solve like this so our next question here is p square q minus p r square minus p q plus r square so r square terms and p q terms will be right in in one class so what is that p square q minus p q minus p r square plus r square so in both what is the common here in both p q is common let's take p minus one why because already in p q p square is there so for that we took p outside one more p will be there again take here minus you take common so here minus r square you take common in both r square is there already minus six came here r square came what is the remaining one here plus is there we have to do minus so minus into minus will get plus one will come r square into one so in both p minus one is common p minus one into p q minus r square so that is the value to do next one x into y plus z minus 5 into y plus z so it is very simple y plus z is there in both so let's take common of y plus z outside then x minus 5 so this is the value thanks for watching please subscribe